That was the flesh man saying, Lord, you left me on this cross. Mm -hmm. ah, teach, teach, teach. But the spirit man, somebody say the spirit man. The spirit man. The spirit man left. We indicates that he died. Right. Yeah. You can't die. You can't live without your spirit. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. You cannot. That's right. And let me, tell you something. let me tell you this. If the Holy Spirit leaves, the flesh starts. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Teach us. Yeah. Teach us. Oh, bro. So when, when you've been adopted into this life, uh -huh. so you know it or not, you were adopted. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You were adopted. You were about to be crying, Abba. Uh -huh. Abba. Uh -huh. So when you were adopted to this life, your spirit got connected. That's right. Yes, That's right. Ain't nobody talking That's right. Your spirit got connected. That's how you feel the presence of the Lord right. when he come in the room. Your yeah. spirit Amen. disconnected. Amen. Now, if your spirit ever disconnects, your flesh will stop. Teach us. Teach us. Amen. Teach us. Teach us. Teach us. Teach us. Understand that. So when he was on the cross, he said, Eli! Uh -huh. Eli! 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 Eli. Lama! What he was saying was, Lord, Lord, why hast thou forsaken yes, me? me? Now, God showed me something. God showed me something <coughs> while I was on my way here. And if y'all don't mind, I would like to share it with you. Yeah. God said, three days. Three days. Three. Somebody say three days. Three days. Three days. The devil got three days. Uh, three days. Three days. See, see, what you got to understand is the devil thought he won. Yes. He thought he won. He thought he won. I might not even have to go to bed because I'm already ready to preach. He thought he won. Yeah. But God took three days. Three days. Three days. It took three days. Ah, now I need you to understand what God showed me. He said, I took three days, but I had to do something in those three days. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Come on, teach us. Now the first thing that God did when he left uh -huh. on the first day, somebody the first day. First, first day. day. The first day God received the power. Uh -huh. Yeah. Man. He got the crown. Uh -huh. Why are you trying to get Come on, come on. He got the crown. Have mercy. He got the crown of being Lord of Lord. Uh -huh. ah. He re received the power. Yeah, right. And he was crowned King of Kings. Uh -huh. And Lord of Lords. And Lord of Lords. Uh -huh. Because he was the sacrifice. Yes. 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 He was the child, the only begotten son. Of, of, the, of, of, he was the only begotten son of God. Yes. yes. Only. So God the Father crowned him. Somebody say he got the power. He, he got, got the power. power. He got the power. Now, that was the first day. Yeah. The first day. That was the first day he got the power. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Second day, he needed three days. That's right. That's right. See, because let me show you what happened. The enemy <laughs> thought he won. Uh -huh. But see, he needed three days to do three days. I'm going to show you. First, receive all power. Uh -huh. all power. Uh -huh. Second thing was he had to get authority. Okay. Let me show you why he got authority. He had power, mm -hmm. but he had to go get authority from hell. Uh, come on. Jesus. Jesus. Hey. Come on, come on. Come on. So he had to go snatch the keys. <laughs> so now, watch, watch this. Now he has power and the key. And the key. Come on. He had to go get the keys to authority. He had to go get the keys to hell because he could not have nobody in hell who he didn't have. Right. Right. Say you ain't got the authority to put nobody in your head. I cast in the head. I have the authority. I'm going to get the authority. Thank you. Thank you. So but see, now I need y'all to understand why this third day is so important. Because what 
Jesus ended up doing was after he went to glory. See, he went on a big old field trip. Yes. Come on. He went to glory to get the power. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. He went to hell, hell to get the keys. Uh -huh. Now he had to go back to the grave. Watch this. To get dominion. He said, I gotta go get dominion now. Now, now how does he get dominion? He takes ownership. Yeah. Now, verse that. Now what you thought you had of me. That body don't belong to you. Come on. Come on. And I got to prove to the people of God. In order to move, you got to have power, uh -huh. you need power. Authority, authority, and dominion. And Come on. Come on now. Let me everything in flesh, in the earth realm, That's belongs. Come on. Teach it, sir. Teach it, sir. The earth is the Lord. The fullness thereof. The earth. The earth. The earth. The Power and authority. Power and authority. Gets me dominion. Gets me dominion. Yes, Lord. I ain't catching that. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Well, get you dominion. Amen. Don't stay. You can have some stuff. Learn how to exercise the power and authority. Lord, yes. Give me dominion. Y'all want to talk about this story in, um, in Luke. 24th chapter. And if I try to read the story to the 25th chapter, it's going to take a little long, so I need you to read it on your own time. All right? Okay? I need you to read it on your own time, but let me get you to the 25th verse. Now that Jesus has power, authority, and dominion, he does something that literally shakes the grounds of Christianity and religion forever. Okay. What's that? He get up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. He Jesus. get up from the grave. <coughs> Watch this. And there is no evidence until this day of where's in the Bible. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh -huh. Amen. Y'all